Hey guys, it's Lisa coming at you with a new Sephora haul. I know, I know, I know I said I wasn't really going to be shopping anymore. But you know, at Sephora, like last year, they revised their Beauty Insider program. So it's supposed to be better. I feel like they kind of compete with other locations like Alta, which has a really good one. You get points for a dollar, points per every dollar you spend to redeem off your actual purchase. Not like little sample still like sizes that you can get at Sephora. Right, which is actually a really good idea because if you're spending over a thousand dollars a year, it's good to like get more than the luxe size samples back for your effort, right? So with the new program, if you're a VIB Rouge, which is if you spend over a thousand dollars per year, which I do almost every year since I worked at Sephora, which was like five ish years ago, right? You get uh twenty if you spend redeem. 2,500 points, you get a $100 gift card. And their new rewards launch on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9 a.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. So for me, I'm Mountain Standard Time, that is 10 a.m. And if you are Eastern Standard Time, I couldn't think of it, it is 12 o'clock noon. So, you know, I've been watching people saying how they've gotten it, and every time I go on at 10 o'clock, I never get it. I'm like, what's going on? And then someone had made a comment about like, oh, you need to be on there like five minutes before the actual launch time, or you're not going to get the gift card. And I was like, oh, okay. So I had had a facial, and I was going to a doctor's appointment, and I finished my facial early, so I went home. Because like in where I live, it's like 10 minutes from my house, so I went home. I was laying on the couch watching YouTube videos. I was like, oh, let me, you know, see if I can get one. And I actually did. So I'm super excited. The reels are really ridiculous though. Like, say you buy something and you don't like it, you legit have to return it for the same product. So what if you bought a skincare item and you had an allergic reaction? You gotta keep it. If you return something from it, that $100, you don't get your money back. You don't get store credit. And you have to use it all in one shot. So, I'm just showing the items that I picked up with my $100 free gift card thing. You know, I've been you know, spending a lot there. I think I might shop at Sephora a little bit more now. On a more regular basis, try to get another one. You know? So, when I was ordering, it was the weekend that Sephora had all these Natasha Denona palettes on sale. And then they had some Tarte items. The tart items are still on sale. All these items are on sale. And then it was the same weekend that they had shown the new Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. The one with the the hot pink palette, super bright. And then the new Natasha Denona Sunset palette. I almost got the Sunset palette. But I was like, you know what? A hundred dollars of free-ish money on things I know I want to use. Compared to something that if it doesn't work, I don't want to return it. And I can't because I have to keep... So I was like, you know, let me get other things that I've been really wanting to try. And I'm okay with keeping, you know? So, when I was trying to figure out what I was going to get, guys, it honestly took me four hours. Because I kept putting things in my basket, taking them out. So I'm like, am I going to use it? No, I don't know what I'm going to do in my life, kind of thing. And by the time I finally ordered my items, my item that I wanted, which is the Natasha Donona Mini Lila, sorry, Lila palette. This is the packaging. Oh, it's not going to pick up its white. There we go. So with this, this is my first Natasha Denona palette. And I was like, mm. it was on sale for $15. And I was like, is it worth it? It's really $30. I was like, ah, uh, you know, Canadian prices. I'm like, what do I do? And I'm like, you know what? I like purples. I'll wear purple. So this is what the palette looks like. I know I'm late to the game. But really, truly, I would never have spent $30 on a palette like this. These are things that... Yeah, I like, you know, eyeshadows are pretty, but I don't really wear eyeshadow like that. Like, I'm not even wearing eyeshadow today. So I was like, to justify it, it wasn't going to work at $30. That new Natasha Denona palette is like $85, $90 Canadian, and it's like a decent size. Definitely going to cop that. I don't know when, because I want to cop the new Julius Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette or whatever, and their foundation. I just need to figure out when I'm going to get all these things, because I need it all. But this is what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. I'm most excited about this color here, 
which is Blue Dahlia. Cause it's like a nice like dual chrome. I think this would be like a really pretty like summer eyeshadow palette. So I can't wait to use that. They did have a couple of the other new uh, Natasha Denona palettes on sale. Like the big ones, but those sold out so quick. But they went for like 175 down to like 125 And I was like, uh, I don't want to justify that. You know, that's one item. Or if I'm going to do it, I might as well get it and I can get actual points on it. Then into the items that I purchased online, it's upside down because I was open the box upside down. First thing I purchased was the Fenty Beauty Li Vivid Liquid Eyeliner Trio. I got it in the shades Baywatch. And I honestly got it because I was watching some like Instagram like feeds and it was like bright liner. I was like, yes, I need this. So that's what it looks like really pretty i'm most excited for like the blue one which is hot tub club and jalapeno this one those are my favorite like this will be cool too but i'm really excited about those ones and i've been waiting to do this haul so i can like do a tutorial or like a get ready with them because they're so pretty and fun and vibrant in here i got two fragrance samples not that i need to try more fragrances but i got the miss dior auto Eau de Parfum and the Toy Birch. It's like Night Nude. I can't do French. It's that one. But that one was nice. And then there's been so much hype all over the internet about the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's a hemp derived cannabis extract and blue, al blue agave extract active all day hydration and hold so i just got the mini ones i was like do you realize how many primers i have like i can count on my desk right now one two three four five six seven eight primers on my desk right now that i'm currently rotating through so i was like there's no point getting a full size one so i don't ever really finish anything but this is what it looks like this was 15 dollars, like i said and it's 0 0.33 fluid ounces really excited about that if you've tried it let me know your thoughts on it like honestly everyone and their mom that has used it and has reviewed it has liked it i don't think i've heard anything negative about it yet and because i was trying to hit a hundred dollars so with the coupon and then you spend a hundred dollars at one shot so with my purchase i did get the Natasha Denona palette in store. I only spent $20. Yeah, $20 out of pocket, right? And then, like I was saying, when I was online, I didn't want to buy to hit that $100 mark without jumping it too high over. I didn't want to be spending like 50 extra dollars on stuff I didn't really need at said time. So I picked up two of the Sephora collection feet masks. I got the lavender foot one, which is for... refreshing and relaxing like, i don't work retail as much anymore right like twice a month so that'd be really nice and then i got the almond foot mask which is the comforting and replenishing one you know with summer being here want to have cute feet you know i should really paint my toes bring those sandals out you know and live my best life and y'all know shalicia has a slight obsession with eyebrow uh makeup brushes and because Sephora now carries select Morphe items in store and online I decided to pick up a couple new brushes because you know you can never go wrong with brushes and I wasn't really feeling any of the other makeup I was seeing online at said time that was in stock or things I would use actually so the first brush I picked up was the M433 it's a blending brush this one right here. It's a slightly smaller, more dense, like, brush. I think it would be great for, like, smoky eyes in your crease work. I think I already have this brush. Maybe. I don't see it. So maybe I'm not. I don't. Nope. But then I got another, because I did get the Jaclyn Hill 
brush set like the first one she did with morphe like her favorites whatever way back when and i've gotten the m4441 which is fluffier than the last one this one's another crease brush i really live for crease brushes like i barely use flat shader brushes when i do my makeup i just like a nice fluffy crease brush but you can see the difference between the two and then lastly, I picked up a M510. It's like a bigger brush like this. This would be nice for like highlighting, setting your under eye powder. See, I use one right now. This is my one that I have right now. That's what I use to set my under eye with my translucent powder every time I use it. So I got this one. I really like it. So I got this one, the new one. So I was thinking maybe like a, for precise highlighting, you know, maybe, I don't know. I just wanted another brush. I really do like Morphe brushes. They are super soft. So yeah, this is my little Sephora perk haul, as you would like to put it. If you like these kind of videos and you'd like to see more hauls from me, definitely thumbs it up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And follow me on all my social media. And I'll see you guys in another video real soon. Oh, if you like my makeup today, it is the end of the night, so it's a little faded. I will have a get ready with me coming up with this. This is like a super fun, fresh face, patio season kind of look. I'm really into the nice weather right now. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do for my makeup tomorrow. But I think I'm going to use those new Fenty aligners so I can share with y'all how that looks. But really liking the look if you want to see how I got it. If it comes up before, I'll have it up in a card up below. If it's after, I'll tag it down somewhere, you know, vice versa, so y'all can check it out. And until next time, bye y'all.